In this video, we are going to be talking about what sets in Python are. So we have seen list, we have seen tuple, we have seen dictionary, and now is the time for set. So uh, I've already told you what collections in Python are, and we saw that primarily there are four types of collections in Python. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a new file, tutorial 12.py, and let me uh, write sets in Python here. If you are into mathematics or something, you must be knowing that set is a collection of well-defined objects. Now this is exactly the same thing, uh, but uh, since all the uh, students that are watching this course are not into mathematics, I'm gonna be uh, explaining it from scratch. Let us say I have this my set, and uh, the syntax for uh, list was square bracket, the syntax for tuple was parenthesis, uh, the syntax for dictionary was this curly brace and the uh, syntax for set is also this curly brace. So you might be thinking that if the syntax for dictionary and set is the same, how will Python interpreter know that whether I want to create a set or a dictionary? The answer is in dictionary we have key value pairs, but in set we have direct values. So let us say I have this one, two, three, four, and if I control S to say, let me add some more repeating elements. And now I'll be saying print uh, a where a is equal to type of my set. Uh, oops, my set. Control S to save, and I am gonna be uh, running this program. One more thing I want to show you is in Visual Studio Code you can also right click and close other tabs. So if you click this close others, all but this tab will be closed. So what you have to do is. Uh, run this program and you'll see class set here. This means that this is a set. Now you must be thinking, what is set Harry? Why are you teaching us what a set is? So if I print set, if I say a is equal to set my set, I will be seeing uh, the value of my set printed uh, on my output window. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, but I had one, two, three, four, one, four, five. This is the beauty of set. set is an unordered and unindexed collection and it contains only the unique elements. So if you have repetitive elements, uh, your elements will be ignored and Python will only display each element once. So this is one, two, three, four, five and your uh, repeating elements will be automatically removed. So this is how set works. Now let us look into the functions that Python offers for set. So if I do something like my set dot add and if I add 56 then if I print uh, my set so if I say a let me add it before saying a is equal to my set and if I control s to save and run it you'll see that 56 has been added so uh, this is use this will add 56 to the set so this was dot add method now uh, there is one more method which is called dot update and dot update method will essentially add more than one element to your uh, to your set so if i say 45 67 and uh, this will add uh, 45 and 67 to the set so if I control S to save and if I run this program, you will see that I have 67, uh, 45 and 56 added to this set. So this is how set in Python works. Again, you can do something like a is equal to len of set and you will, if I control S to save and run this program, you'll see that the length of the set is being printed on the output screen. So this is how you print length of a set. Now once again, if you want to remove an element from uh, a set, you can say something like my set dot remove and you can remove say a uh, two from the set. Control S to save. If I do something like a is equal to my set, I hope you are understanding why I'm using this a variable. I'm using this so that I have only one print statement and I will keep on updating this variable and I will put it whatever I want to see inside my output window. If I run this program now, you'll see that two no longer appears in the set. So I have deleted my uh, two from the set and this is how you remove an element from the set.
now there is something called dot discard and uh, dot discard is so uh, i'll give you an example before telling what dot discard is if i try to remove 25 which is not present in the set and if i run this you'll see that i have key error 25 uh, what essentially python is telling me is that you do not have 25 uh, how can you remove 25 if you don't have it in the set so uh, if i want to uh, be free from this error uh, if i want to be free from any sort of key error what i will do is i will do something like discard so instead of this i'll do something like this so let me write this will throw error if 25 is not there in my set okay and if I say something like this, my set to discard 25, then it will not throw any error. But again, if I give discard an element which is already there in the set, then it will remove that element from the set. So as you can see, two has been removed from the set. So this is basically how set works. Now again, we have something like uh, my set dot clear and it will essentially clear your set so if you uh, print your set it will print an empty set now you can see this set here this essentially means that this set is an empty set this is a blank set this is how python prints an empty set now uh, once again we can always use uh, del my set and if i do something like del my set it will get rid of my set completely and i will see an error here because my set is no longer there in my program now so if i run this program i should be seeing an error saying that my set is not defined because i have deleted my set in line number 10 and i have tried to access it in line number 11 which is wrong so this is how set essentially works in python i'm going to be giving you some more methods that you can experiment with i'll say uh, set methods in python and i'll write all the methods that are important so if you are into mathematics and you are dealing with sets you will need them but again if you're not into deep mathematics if you are not into advanced stuff then you'll not need it so you can try some methods like add we have clear that i already told you uh, then we have difference and once again uh, we have difference update and I want you to look into what these are doing. There are a lot of other methods like is disjoint. And you can do a whole bunch of good stuff. You can do something like symmetric difference. Uh, so if I do something like this, if I try to uh, write my set and dot, it will show me symmetric difference. So this is how a Visual Studio Code IntelliSense is designed. If my set has any method called symmetric difference, it will show me that method. So you can uh, see what this method is doing. You can go to the internet and search for it. Uh, symmetric difference. And again, we have union and intersection as well. So you can go and see how all these things work. For now, I'll end this video. Let me comment this out and let me say that this line will throw error because my set has been deleted and once again i'm not deleting my set because if you uh, run this program i don't want you to see an error um, but again since i've explained you everything you should be good uh, once again if you haven't accessed my python playlist i would like you to go to my channel and access this python playlist the link is there in the description as well so if you want to access it from the description you can do that as well uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video and let me know if you have any doubts make sure to give this video a thumbs up uh, and i will see you next time